All right, I'm going to go ahead and look at how to install Git for Windows machines. So you can type in Git for Windows or Git Windows or something like that and just get Git. And you can see that there are a bunch of things. One of them is Git for Windows. So I go ahead and download the Git for Windows package right here. And this is a nice little package. Um, this will allow me to install the Git client and be able to use it on my system. So I do open file. And it pops up this license. I have to accept the GPL license. And I tell it where to install. And I go ahead and install it. Now, I, you should probably keep most of the default values. However, there are a few things to keep in mind. The very first one of which is the default editor. If you are comfortable using Vim, then it might be fine using Vim. If you're not, then I would pick something else, such as Notepad++ or um, anything else if you have it installed. Or you can even use Notepad. So I use Notepad++ because I have it installed on my machine. And then I let it decide for these things right here. Um, I do want the bundle to open SSH. Use the open SSL library for the HTTPS downloads. And I want to use the Windows style line endings. So the big difference between these is that the Unix style ends with a slash N, the Mac style ends with a slash R, and then the Windows is both of them. So use the both. Let's click next. And I use the default terminal here. And I do the regular merge behavior. Um, I want to use the get credential manager core. And I want to use the file system caching. And I will not turn on these, ex these experimental features. And then I install git. And at this point, um, git will be installed. It'll also put some of the files um, in the path so you can run programs from the command line and check out projects easily. And then I am done.